little minions and welcome back to one of my gaming commentaries and as you can see we're on a different game today and we are now playing a game called Terra. Now Terra is one of the most brilliant games I've ever played hands down it is a fantastic game and it, I would recommend it more than I would recommend World of Warcraft any day. I'm sorry even though I've been playing World of Warcraft for ages. I would still recommend it more than World of Warcraft. Let's see, sorry. Mm. What one looks like? Uh, it still is good. And we are going to be playing Terra for a little while longer because, um, unfortunately... Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, it's not mine. Unfortunately, I'm having some technical difficulties it's with so um, Minecraft and World of Warcraft and it's becoming a pain. So I thought we would just play some Terra. And I'm very fairly new to Terra, so we are going to be learning about the game just as much as each other. Something important. Oh wait, can I change how that does that? Oh. UI settings. That's in game, sorry. Hmm, is it? Okay. Nope, it's not a bit. Studious. Right, it's basically it's it is a quest based role playing game. With several different features to it and the graphics are just stunning. I've toned the graphics down just for just now, but they are still ten trillion times better than anything you would get on World of Warcraft. It's it's just scary. I've wasted so much money playing World of Warcraft for so many years. And then this game comes out. Well, it did recently just come out being free, like now. I think it came out being free like two months ago. And everything is just so much better than World of Warcraft. I mean, I went on World of Warcraft for like an hour yesterday and I got bored because I wanted to play this. And I'm like, oh. although there is an option that you can join a thing called the Terror Club. And the Terror Club lets you. Um, have little extras, like for example you see here I have Terror Club perks which includes this I mean, I'm sorry but look at it it's a freaking lion you're not supposed to get mounts until level um, 11? yeah, it's level 11 but if you're with the Terror um, club, you can get them early. Uh, the user interface is slightly more tricky than World of Warcraft. You, it does take a while to get used to everything, but everything's pretty simple. Now we've followed the quest line down to our first task to do, and our first task is to kill these tree things, which I can actually never pronounce the name of. Gheladinus. Gheladinus. I'm going to call them Gheladinus. And on this character we are a sorcerer. So basically it's a bit like a mage on World of Warcraft. And basically, on your bar, down the bottom, you have several spells you can use. Um, well, you will eventually have several spells you can use. And, um... Ooh! Nah, no, they're not helpful. Yeah. And for your main two spells you have to use the left and the right click button and then you can use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you can use F1, F2, F3 and etc. And also I is for inventory, P is for your character profile, U is for friends and I use WASD to walk. And also you use your mouse to um, pan around. And instead of clicking continuously you can actually hold down number one 
to continuously cast your main spell. And basically we are just going to be killing some of these trees. And you press you also you press F to pick things up and instead of having ooh healing moat. Instead of actually having to click on the character, everything drops off of them automatically. And all you need to do is press F and pick them up. As simple as that. Now this video is going to be very long because I know... Can, so, oh, we're now level 2! Yay! And knowing um, what happened to my last video, um, it wouldn't load. It just wouldn't. It was like 20 minutes long and it took about 3 days to try and load up and by the time it was just like, not, you're not loading this up on YouTube now. And I was like, feck. So I decided, right, and, uh, and I know I've done this before, but I uninstalled World of Warcraft again because it was... I... Ooh! Um, is it V? Yeah. Uncommon ground. Located your first uncommon items. Awesome. These deers are so cute. They're like saber-toothed deer. They're so adorable. I really shouldn't be using my guild park, my group parks at the moment, but who cares? I got them, I paid for them, I'm going to use them. It's like £7 a month, I think, and you get a free sampler amount every month. And you get, um, you can use a uh, 50 XP, 100 XP boost for an hour a day, uh, 100 gold hunter boost hour a day, 100 quest gold boost 100 a day, and at level 58 you can have a reputation boost. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's it's pretty good. And I mean, like, if you remember the graphics that would come along with the lions and tigers from World of Warcraft, look at the lion. It's... Oh, I don't know what is going on, but... Is that help. Yeah, it's help. It's just insane. The graphics on this are just like so much better. I mean, it looks like I'm actually riding a legit lion. I don't get this. But look at it. It's so cute. But we're going to end this video off on my other character, actually. I'm going to just show you what it would be like to have a slightly higher, slightly higher, like um, 15 levels higher, which it's... I've got to the point on World of Warcraft when I've got all the heirlooms, I've had, I've played the game pretty much through without doing much in-game content, and I don't like doing in-game content because I just think it's kind of, it breaks up so many th friendships and stuff, um, especially on World of Warcraft. And I thought, right, this isn't challenging me enough. This game is challenging. It really is. But I've only died, like, three times. But there's actually a legit challenge in it. Because the levelling takes longer. And what I find is, on World of Warcraft, right now, if I'm levelling a character, all I care about is levelling up that character. I look at the experience bar, and that's it. Well, this, your experience bar is actually further down the bottom of your page. It's like way, it's like down here. And you, if you're not looking close enough, you don't notice it's there. And that, for me, it adds an element of surprise to what you're doing. So you're not just um, trying your hardest to get through everything. You're actually taking the time. Oh, where should I go? Taking the time to play the game properly. Right, where do I want to go? And also, each there's like lots of areas like there's Arcadia, and like it doesn't look as big, but each area has like each section has like six different areas in it, depending. So it's like four or five areas in here. And right now I should be in the Valley of Titans, so I'm going to go to Crescentia, I think the place it's called. Crescentia, there we go. And you can teleport, and you can... I, I got that teleport from joining the 
club. But you can use Pegasus rides and you can actually buy teleports that will take you to safe places. They're like hearthstones but you have to buy them. And that kind of like makes you want to, instead of hearthing back because you can't be bothered, it makes you want to progress more because you know that hearthing back to where it's safe costs a lot. So you don't bother. But I'm just going to um, park Venerally back where she was left like I was actually originally helping my sister on her low leveled character. I've got my sister into this and a friend of mine from World of Warcraft has abandoned World of Warcraft completely and is now playing Terra instead and I have another friend from Norway who's starting to verge onto the same. So you get Pegasi platform or Pegasus platforms. Oop, 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 it's deciding. And also, like, a tip, I didn't know this to begin with, but I got told it and it really helps. You're on, like, different channels, and if you're, if, like, for example, you're on a quest and it bugs out, if you change channel, it fixes it instantly. And also, I think the channel thing, um, depend, it actually shows, it's how many characters are on that channel. So if you're a bit laggy, if you change channels, then it actually helps. So we're going to change channel, we're going to go for a little ride. If um, I've been videoing quite a lot, actually I might end up having to wrap it up sooner. See, and I'm not as laggy anymore. And also I have another mount to show you. Um, skills are K. Okay. Yeah. You get at level 11 you get a mount called Bay Gedling. And it's a horse. And look at it, it looks like a legitimate horse rather than the World of Warcraft horses. I don't get why Blizzard makes you pay for everything and the graphics compared to this are so shit. It's un believable. But I love my archer. She's so cute. If you've noticed I do have a thing for characters that can um, use bow and arrows. I don't know why, but I, 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 out with Hunger Games, Katniss is my favourite. She uses bow and arrows. Look, I mean, like, this next area that I'm about to park myself in is what I would probably say is the equivalent of Barons in WoW. And mobs are freaking everywhere, honestly. Trying to run somewhere is almost impossible because there's mobs littered everywhere and you're running around going crap how am I going to get past these mobs? So I was just checking my mount um, things were on and any class can track any mob it's not like it just the hunters and you can also mine everything herb everything so you don't think you can skin but you do there are things called dawn hides that drop and it's, I don't know what is, it's so weird because this game probably does not have as many players as it does as World of Warcraft does but the quality of gameplay and graphics combined with the fact that the game is free makes everything so much cooler it's just fantastic now we're just going to park off up here I mean like on my laptop, like, the shadowing isn't even proper. It kind of, like, follows me a bit delayed. But on this, shadow is, like, exact. To the letter. As you can tell, guys, I love this game. Love it. It's fantastic. And I recommend you play it. Don't have to get the membership. Get them out eventually. Just get it. Try it. Play it. And I guarantee you will have the best time of your life. Thanks guys and see you all later.